Hey guys, this is Mars. Welcome to the Blue Surrealist and welcome to Mars Talk. So this is the day 2 of our client series of videos for this week. And let's start. So our topic for today is how do you actually tell if the artist you're talking to is the artist of that painting you're wanting to buy. Okay, so there's a lot of artists out there that makes a lot of different paintings and there's a lot of people that was already scammed because of this. I'm going to teach you what to do and what to ask of the artist, okay? So, uh, a true mark of an original artist's work is the signature, okay? If you see something really great and really beautiful, you have to know where the signature is, okay? You have to look for it. If it's not on the front of the painting, send a message to that artist if you really, really want that painting and ask where the signature is located, okay? So that's one. Because some artists, well, like me, I put my signature always at the front on the on the lower right or sometimes the lower left if it's, um, if it's situational. And I do not put my signature at the back. Well, some artists do because they believe that it will ruin um, their, the front of their painting because of their signature, but I don't believe that. It's, the, it's actually the signature that makes it for me, okay? So you have to search for that signature and that date as when the artist painted this painting because a good signature has a date with it. Like the other dead artists out there, they always put the year or the month or the date of that um, painting's creation so that they know that this is the exact time that they made it. If an artist can tell you that, then there's a big red flag. So I can say that this video is also for the artist as well. If you're a beginner artist, I do hope that you put signatures on your painting. It's not, it, it is a big deal. It's not just a little thing that um, you can put whenever you want. If you really, really want to build something in the long run, you have to start putting your signature now okay because if you really make it in the future all the other artworks that you have at home you can price it whenever you whatever you want okay so that's how important it is to put your signature and the date in your paintings and to also put it uh, or list it in a catalog because you, it's important that you have that list in order to, for you to tell if something is bought, if something is missing, and all of that stuff. So I hope I helped you a lot in this video. And if you do have any questions for me, just let me know in the comment section. And if you have anything um, for me to do as a, as a content, you can let me know. And yeah, I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, and share this video with your friends and family. And subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and be weird, stay weird, be yourself every day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!